Communicating with pathologists can be a little bit tricky at times. Um, sometimes it seems like we're almost talking a different language. So how do we how do we deal with this? The first thing in my view is try and stick to the same pathologist. Uh, you can insist on this, you can request this from your provider and that way you get to know the language that he or she is using and you will have a consistent language and then you've got good communication happening. Number two, uh, be very clear with the pathologist what you are providing and what you are asking for. So provide enough good clinical information on the request form and be clear about what you are asking for. For example, you might say, suspicious pigmented skin lesion, query melanoma. That's very clear. When the report comes back from the pathologist, read it carefully. And if you don't understand it, phone the pathologist up and talk about it. Now, most of the time it's very clear, but sometimes it's not. And it's really important. You are dealing with a colleague um, it's very easy to have a good relationship, to get to know the pathologist that looks after you. Phone him or her up, talk about the situation, and, if, and, and don't act on the report until you're really sure that you understand what the report is actually telling you. The final thing is to understand that the pathologist is not necessarily giving you the answer to the clinical problem. What you're actually getting is additional information. You're getting extra information on top of your history and your clinical examination. And your job as a GP is to pull all of that together and come up with the final answer. So get to know your pathologist, develop a relationship, make sure you understand the communication you're getting from him or her.